Yes. I know I didn't have a review for the other night, but there's a vlog coming. I went to the game the other night, and I didn't get home until much later that night, around like 3 a.m. So, no review from the Buffalo Sabre game. But a big review for tonight's game, as the Blackhawks win 4-1 to one for the first time in Philadelphia since 1996. Yes, your Chicago Blackhawks have won a regular season game in Philadelphia for the first time in regular season play since 96. That was before I was even born. But now the Hawks have ended that drought of losing in Philadelphia. Let's just note the main win in Philadelphia came in 2010. We all know that win happened in Philly. So, the Hawks win it 4-1 to one over the Flyers. This was a good performance by the Blackhawks. And a great performance by number 34, Peter Mrazek. In net for your Chicago Blackhawks. As he faced 38 shots, making 37 saves. Nice performance by Mrazek tonight. The Hawks having only 29 shots, beating Carter Hart three times and getting an empty netter. It was a good performance by the Hawks. They were playing strong, playing smart hockey, moving the puck well, and getting into the offensive zone and throwing the puck on net. When you do that, you're going to get positive results. And they did, and the Hawks win this thing 4-1. to one. This was a good performance by the Blackhawks from Start to finish, they played strong, had given up the first goal of the game, but they were able to prevail. So let's get into the goals of the game, shall we? In the first period, it was the Philadelphia Flyers who got on the board first. At 8.52 in the first period, Morgan Frost scores his 10th of the season, assisted by former Blackhawk Nick Steeler and Ristolainen to make it a one nothing game for the Flyers. What happens here? Uh, Morgan Frost made it his own. He comes in on a three-on-one break, and he basically ties up um, Steph Jones, where T Jones got all tangled up and couldn't get all uh, sorted to defend the puck well, and Frost goes barred down past Mrazek. It's one nothing Flyers. Then, nine seconds later... The Hawks thought they got on the board, but they didn't. Because Andreas after the CU scores on a breakaway by deking Carter's heart out of his pads. But the Flyers challenge it. And it's a deemed no goal. Because after the CU really was like seven feet past the blue, the blue line to um, go in offside. So it's... The Hawks are down by one, and the Hawks were getting press, but the Hawks were playing strong. They ended up killing a penalty and killed it off well. That penalty goes into the second period of play, and into the second period of play, the Hawks wake up, and they get on the board at 9.51 in the second period. Scored by number 19, Jonathan Tays, his 13th of the season, assisted by number four, Steph Jones, and number six, Jake McCabe. To tie it all up, this goal by Taser was a great redirection into the net from a blast from a shot from Steph Jones, and we are tied up one apiece. This was a good work ethic by the Hawks in the offensive zone. They got the puck moving. McCabe feeds it over to Jones. And Jones, who's been shooting and getting those points in recent games, he gets a blast and it goes off the stick of Jonathan Taze and in, and we're tied up one apiece. And the Hawks continue to press. And a steal happens at 15:51 in the second period. Scored by number 52, Reese 
Johnson. His third goal of the season, assisted by number 43, Colin Blackwell. To give the Hawks a 2-1 to lead, this goal was all by Blackwell stealing the puck, keeping the Flyers from exiting the offensive zone for the Hawks, and he falls on his belly It gets and gets the puck over to Reese Johnson, and Johnson beats Carter Hart, bar down, and we lead 2-1. Nice there, nice work by the Hawks to keep the offensive zone pressure going, and we're in the lead. And the Hawks continue to press. They couldn't get any goals, but we go into the third period. And into the third period, the Hawks continue. 35 seconds exactly into the third period, score by number 90, Tyler Johnson. His fifth goal of the season, assisted by number 88, Patrick Kane and number six, Jake McCabe, to make it a three to one lead for your Chicago Blackhawks. This goal by Tyler Johnson. Yes, a second Johnson got on the board. Unfortunately, Jack Johnson doesn't score to get all three Johnsons on the board, but Tyler Johnson gets on the board. This goal was really a good entry zone by the Hawks. Um, McKay gets it over to Tyler Johnson. Johnson and Kane and um, Domi go on a three-on-one break. Johnson over to Kane. Kane back to Johnson. And Johnson on the goal line beats Carter Hart to give the Hawks a 3-1 lead. This was a good attack by the Hawks. But the... Flyers were pressing. They were keeping the Hawks contained in the defensive zone for the rest of this period. They were getting the shots off, holding the Hawks from any opportunity to add to their lead. There was a couple chances, though, but the Hawks weren't able to add until much later into the game. At 19-18 in the third period, score by number 23, Philip Kurashev. His seventh of the season, assisted by number 19, Jonathan Taze. And number 11, Taylor Radish, to make it a 4-1 Hawks win in Philadelphia. This was an empty netter by Kershaw. Radish shot the puck. It goes wide, gets it over to Taze. Taze gets it to Kershaw, who was holding up. And then he shoots it in to the empty net. And the Hawks win it 4-1 to one in Philadelphia. Shots on net per period, I forgot to mention. 9-7 to seven for the Hawks in the first. 11-15 to 15 for the Flyers in the second. 9-16 to 16 for the Flyers in the third. Mrazek stood strong in that third period. He also stood strong in that second period. The Hawks were able to prevail. Mrazek had his best game in a Blackhawk uniform tonight. And this was a great all-around team play by the Hawks to get their first regular season win in Philadelphia since 1996. So down in the comments down below, I want to hear what your thoughts were on tonight's action. And thank you for watching the broadcast. Please leave a like and subscribe if you haven't done so already. And most of all... Let's go, Hawk!